Hey guys, Omni here. I just wanted to stop in and give you guys my quick thoughts on Harley Quinn season two, since I just finished wrapping up the season finale that aired earlier today. And I gotta say, just like with season one, I think the show continues to knock it out of the park with this loose adaptation of Batman No Man's Land. Uh, but in this case, it's just, it's very different. And it just keeps that same tone that the first season had, you know, a little bit lowbrow humor with some great commentary and character building in here as well as just the fun that they have with these versions of some of the most iconic characters in comic book history and their spins and twists and things they do with them, their personalities. They just have so much fun with it. Jim Gordon is one of my favorite characters in this thing because he is so unhinged from this relationship with Batman, with this relationship he has with the city their view of him and all of these superheroes, supervillains and everything going on. And he's just a cop and he's just left in this wasteland of a city that is cut off. And it's just his arc is just brilliant and it's hilarious. He always gets some laughs out of me. Harley is just very endearing in some sometimes an annoying way. But that, of course, is Harley Quinn. But she's so sweet and well-intentioned throughout a lot of it uh you know selfish at times too but her character has a lot of depth and i really like how they expanded on this especially coming off the heels of season one you know and then growing that relationship with poison ivy of course the kite man poison ivy thing carries over into this and it doesn't quite wrap up the way i i was wanting it to but it gets to where everybody was wanting it to get. And I thought they handled the relationship, the building of it, the confusion that comes with a lot of new feelings and how to approach them. And I thought they did a pretty good job at handling that discovery, um, especially when it is somebody that is your best friend. But that whole thing was very gripping and awesome to watch. And I really appreciated it. I think by the end of it, I do think that it got cut a little too abrupt. I don't think we got to spend enough time with it throughout the latter half of the season. But I'm sure if this gets greenlit for a season three, it'll be at the core of the show. The, her normal crew, her team, everything like that, have some fantastic little beats in this. Dr. Psycho's whole arc is its, is its own thing. Um, everything with the Justice League is brilliant. Everything with Batman is brilliant. I Oh my God. Batman and Alfred's dynamic in this show always cracks me up. Batman is hilarious. <laughs> I love just the way that they have fun with these characters. Bane also one of the best characters in this show. Um, you know, it's just, it's just really interesting and well thought out how they kind of play around with these characters. Is it the best show? Is it the most well-written show? No, but it's a lot of fun. If you're a DC fan, if you're familiar with a lot of these characters, I think it's a lot of lighthearted, well, I would say lighthearted if you like some dark shit. <laughs> it, it gets really messed up. It's very graphic, just like with season one. They don't let up. The, it is just as vulgar, just as atrocious, and I love every second of it. Um, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I, I, I definitely recommend it to any DC fans to check it out. Give it a watch. Uh, it's, it's a blast. Um, is there anything I'm missing out? I'm not going to give it a rating or anything like that. Like I said, it's not the best thing out there, but my God, is it just a lot of fun? It's like 20 some minutes of just consistent fun every week when this is airing, when it's on. Um, I, I think it's one of the most solid shows next to doom patrol that is on the DC universe streaming service. Um, I'll include star girl in that now. Actually, most of the lineup for the DC universe is pretty solid. The only one, and I've said this and I've gotten flack for it many times, the only one that they have as an original that I'm not really a fan of, I still watch every episode of it, just kind of hoping for it to kind of get off the ground, and that is Titans. There's some things in there that I like, but overall, I there's something about it that, I, that just annoys me. I think everything else on the DC universe streaming service is pretty freaking good. Swamp Thing did not deserve to be canceled. That needs to come back. I want to see a season two for that, but that's not seeming very likely. We'll see how it comes out. If it gets any ratings, get any, gets any word of mouth once it'll be airing on CW later this fall. 
maybe it'll get some traction. Maybe it'll show them that it's worth investing in because I think most of the people that watched it did nothing but praise it. Doom Patrol, just nailing it so far with season two. I'm still working on getting the reactions out for the remaining episodes since they released the first three episodes all on their initial Friday opening, Thursday opening, sorry. Uh, so I'm still working on getting those up for you guys to check out. Right now, I've just got episode one of season two up on the channel. So if you haven't, check that out. And we're covering Stargirl right now. And so far, I think this show's starting off really well. The first six episodes are out of the first season, and it's really consistent. I, I really like it. So you can check out my reactions to those as well. See if it's something you might enjoy. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for today. Sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on Harley Quinn season two, and we'll carry on that conversation after the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you all are taking care of yourselves and staying safe. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everybody.